Oh, wait, it's recording. <laughs> Sorry. What's up, guys? It's me, RGM324, as usual. And we are going to continue Gender Bender. I have a goal today. I'm going to try and finish the Yale storyline this Saturday that I'm on right now. Probably not going to happen, but let's try. So, anyways, where were we? All right. We can either go along with Winter's plan to dress like a girl or refuse. Uh... As much as this is the way that I would want to go, I'm also very intelligent, so I'm just going to go along with the plan. I understand you don't want to, Yale. Because, my god. This outfit is completely revealing. However, it is the best way to stop people recognizing him, or her, or whatever. And as usual, I'm keeping that audio off, at least for the Yale storyline, because things get too silent in here. As much as I don't like that in-game audio. Yeah, I agree. You're ridiculous, Yale. You look ridiculous. And yes, your boobs look huge. Get over it. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Stop bringing it up, winner. You're just making them feel uncomfortable. <sighs> feel embarrassed. Uh, I don't know suiting. It suits. I'm not. Da. Ah! God damn it. I can't talk today. I'm pretty sure that... Come on! You know, I'm just going to forget what I was going to say because that's probably going to be an interesting little tidbit for you guys. Stupidly hot-looking girl on a ridiculous, in a ridiculous outfit. Yes, that is exactly what you look like. Yes, it could, but... Yeah, it's more fun for winter. <sighs> Silent. And then just once. <laughs> You're probably still going to be a girl tomorrow, Yale. You were a girl yesterday. You're a girl today. You're a girl tomorrow, probably. Just deal with it. Deal with it right now as it stands. <sighs> yeah, I would assume you draw a lot of attention. Because, oh, look at that. It's a cute little teenage girl with giant boobs. Let's look at her. Or at least that's how I imagine the pedophiles are like. Though a little bit more saucy, if you know what I mean. What movies are there in this theater? Speaking of which, I'm probably going to go see the Spongebob movie on Monday morning. Because I don't have school on Monday or Tuesday, so I'm going to... See the chick flakes. No, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, girly movies can be good sometimes. Masterpieces? No. Good? Depends. Um, not that I would know that. Yeah, Yale is full of surprises. And yeah, I, I would actually buy the fact that poster that the poster for a movie makes you want to go see it. Believe me, I've been there. As it turns out, that was Edge of Tomorrow that I wanted to see based on the poster at first, and then I start, started already seeing the trailers, it looked really cool, I went to go see it, and I reviewed it. And I'm not going to link it to you guys, because I want you to do the work. If you really care about my channel, you'll go find it yourself. Yeah. These developers seem to enjoy the prospect of introducing lesbian relationships. As a matter of fact, it seems like most of these relationships are lesbian relationships. Not being judgmental, that's just how I've seen it. Yale has winter, uh... Brie has a female love interest. Uh, Lynn has a female interest or two. 
Dina doesn't have any in, any love interests in her storyline. Oh, here we go. The big truth. Winter is a lesbian. Which is why she would never talk to Yale that much. Let alone be a couple. Because she's a lesbian. You know, I wonder if I if I rewrote this story and the dialogue. I'm pretty sure I could make something a little bit less saucy. Because I'm not the kind of person that likes to write sleaze, even on my fan fictions. But does it mean that I won't? I don't know. Maybe if you somehow got me drunk, which I'm probably never going to get drunk. Or at least that's what I think. That's what I like to th think to myself. Because realistically, it's probably going to happen sooner or later. <sighs> yeah, and really kind doesn't really get you anywhere in the love department. Because either they don't notice or... Uh... Or they're lesbians. That's just... That's basically what this game is trying to tell me. If you're if you're quiet and you're really nice, you're not gonna get the, you're not gonna get love unless you get gender swapped. That's basically what it's telling you. <laughs> what the hell, Yale? You just said that boobs were annoying, and now you're saying they're awesome. <sighs> Come on, game devs. I like your game, sometimes, but when they're bad, they're bad, and I know when they're going to be bad. Like, Dina's was boring, Zara's was just bad. I have not tried playing Nadine's storyline yet, though. Maybe I'll like it because I liked what I saw for a couple YouTubers who played it. Stranger things have happened? Oh yes, and would you like to explain to me what weirder things could happen? Or what strange stuff has happened? Yeah, I didn't think so, Winter. Stop judging everybody. Enjoy the cute girlfriend as much as you can. Uh. Oh crap, my iPod locked. I need to see what time we are at. Jesus, seven minutes. Almost eight minutes. Oh, and if you didn't notice at the beginning, I was whistling Mirror's Edge music. Uh, I really liked Mirror's Edge. I don't know if I told you this before. But I did finish Mirror's Edge, and I liked it. Yes, exactly, Yale. Why the heck couldn't have that happened before you got turned into a girl? Oh, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Okay. Let's listen to the music. Stripped off and got right to business. You know, I'm actually glad that there's no voice acting in this game. Yet. I don't know if they'll actually keep up, keep it with no, with no voice acting. Because if they have voice acting, I, I don't even want to imagine how that scene's going to sound. then again, visual novel, I don't think they're going to have the budget to do voice acting unless they can take a cut from that $20,000 they got from Indiegogo. Yeah. For those of you that didn't know, this got started at Indiegogo. It made a crap ton of money, and this is what we got. Uh, in my mind, the first storyline was probably the most well done. Except for the generic slideshow. Make stuff up, set stuff up, try things out, write down results. Basically, the checklist for a mad scientist guide. Thank you, Mr. Anders. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Anders, for telling us exactly what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, really? Yale fell asleep? Well, I don't blame him. 
I don't think any, I don't think I would be able to pay attention in that class. At least I got that part of the human psyche right. Talking about something boring can actually make you uh, not off. Of course, I already knew this before because I fell asleep in Spanish class once. I actually I actually was trying to pay attention, fell asleep, and then they left me alone for about an hour and a half before I actually woke up. Uh, you gotta think, they left me there. To snooze. What the hell, guys? Uh, whatever, I'm not gonna dwell on it. I just hope that nobody knocks off the charger. Oh wait, there's only one person in here. Me. And that's not gonna happen. Actually, while I wait for this set of lines to, con to continue, I'm going to uh, text a few people. That was quick. All right. Wait, wait. What was going on? What was going on again? I wasn't paying attention. Besides the fact they're going to watch chick flicks, and the fact that Yale is still wearing that Lolita outfit. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever. Both movies are based on books written by the same author. <sighs> All the characters are common copies. Jeez, that sounds like Nicholas Sparks, where the characters are really just the same people in every book. Except that they don't make Nicholas Sparks books to be released at the same time. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think Hollywood's that desperate yet to make two book to make two Nicholas Sparks books into movies and releasing them at the same time. <laughs> you know it's funny. The ubiquity of Nicholas Sparks seems to have disappeared, just like the ubiquity of Twilight. Oh wait, never mind, the ubiquity, ubiquity of Twilight hasn't gone yet because Fifty Shades of Grey is in the theaters this weekend. God damn it. Well, I don't blame you for being too nervous to kiss Winner. Even though you even though you know that she's a lesbian, you're still mentally thinking you're a guy. Uh, how much time? Uh, 13 minutes. By the way, I'm still not so sure if Fraps is going to record half an hour of gameplay straight. I still have to test that out. So for right now, I'm just going to include a little split once this scene's over with. And then stitch them together because that's what I've done last episode. You have thought about it. You know what? I'm actually spending more time looking at the scenery, and uh, it's somehow just a tad bit better than elementary school watercoloring. The duck definitely looks fake, the stones look out of place, the tree looks like a wood table, the clouds look like mist, like from the very beginning. Uh-oh, I think I heard a helicopter. <sighs> Damn you, helicopter! I'm trying to record here! Then again, it could be worse. You could be like Master Tank, and you could be like Noble from Digital Addiction, who have trains that go through their areas. There is a train in my area, but it's way too far away from my house to hear it. <sighs> You'll talk to Lynn about it. Oh yeah, talk. If by talk you mean try to converse with that nutty professor, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the nutty doctor, or I, I'm sorry again, crazy scientist. Yeah, that's it. 
trying to converse with that crazy scientist is like trying to co converse with that obviously fake tree. You sure you want to do this? As long as you can change back later. But yeah, we haven't figured out if you can change back later. Wait, you really like winter, but you still want to change back. That's kind of a contradiction. Did you like being a girl? Did you want to turn back? Who will win Big Brother this season? Find out in this stunning episode of RGN324 plays Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme Part 4. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> As time goes on, I'm probably going to start trying to use different types of voices. Because, you know, people actually like it when I actually talk. Like, in English class, we're reading Dante's Inferno. And apparently people like the soothing voice that I have when I talk over the intricate translated dialogue. And I don't know, some people seem to like it when I do sort of, sort of a little acting. It seems like there's like one time per year where I t actually open my mouth, it's for some sort of activity, uh, and we have to do some sort of acting out. Freshman year it was, we had, a, we, we had to act out a scene from The Dark Knight, I played the Joker, and our team pretty much kicked butt. And then sophomore year, what was sophomore year? Oh yeah, we had civics, and then we had to act out a skit where that was about vote dodging, or was it vote dodging, what was it? Oh, poll tax, that was right. And then I played a police officer, and not only did I, my team actually do the best, but I was considered the best actor. That was pretty cool. Uh, I don't think anything happened like that last year, my junior year. But this year, definitely been plenty of times. Like, when I played Iago in Othello, and, of course, reading uh, Dante's Inferno. Okay, and I need to stop talking about my life story right now. It's time for the most pivotal scene in the entire story. Where there's more Yale, more Lynn... And more cheaply drawn buildings in the background. Uh, you look like a cat. Oh, look in there. Look in there. You look like a cat. Oh my god, what happened to you, Lynn? Th those do not look natural. Those do not look like they're gonna. Uh... Hey, thank you, Yale. Thank you, Yale. That's exactly how I was going to react. My god. Oh, actually, we may be able to finish this up in a part five. Heck, lucky there, we might actually finish it. <sighs> you don't have any classes today. So you decided to come here. Any questions that you have? Wondering if it's okay to stay a girl for just a few more weeks. Oh, oh, sorry. Would it be okay? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That doesn't look good. That facial expression changed so much. Oh no, no. I don't like that look on your face. Oh no, don't. What is the news? What is the news? Uh-huh. That makes perfect sense. It makes absolute perfect sense. One of these genes nicknamed the Dina Lin gene. Because you know that's totally not egotistical at all. And it will cause an organism's sex to change. And it was present in the DNA sample? Wow, you probably should have made note of that before you did all this it's not a new discovery because clownfish can actually do that i actually remembered that the gene is in humans is that actually true i don't know maybe it is maybe it isn't or maybe these developers are really just talking bullshit uh-huh so basically everybody who was working in the lab that day 
So get to the point, lady. Oh no, a one-day street, a one-way street. Oh no, you know what that means, guys? You know what that means, guys? What that means is... Lynn, can you actually uh, tell us off? <sighs> Come on. I just realized there's too much of a plot dump here. So not only will you be able to stay a girl for the rest of the, for the next few weeks, you'll be staying like this for the rest of your life. Oh, poor Yale. I'm sorry, Yale. It's too, too much to handle, I can tell. Oh no. Okay, okay, I need to stop. I need to stop trying. And besides, I don't even know if you guys could hear what I was saying. Possible. Oh, come on! Another plane? <sighs> okay, I just found out what the issue is for my house. It's not a train. It's not traffic. It's planes. <sighs> Going straight for the exit, huh? Oh, Dan, I forgot. Oh, wait, I forgot. You heard the news, too. Dan's bro Dan has to be just as broken up about it as Yale is. Yale, why are you still talking to people? I can understand. Dan, stop taking my lines! Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be yelling at Lynn for that, not Dan, but still, it... Yeah. I probably, I'd probably be okay with blue hair. Probably, I'd probably like more magenta hair. Not, not even magenta, probably... What is it? Maroon is what I was thinking of, because... Okay, I... I'm babbling too damn much. Just go away. You can't even talk to anybody anymore, Yale. Come on. Don't be such a pansy. I just I just realized something. By the time that I go to edit this, there's not going to be much use for the sensor bar. I just realized that. Yes, you are a girl. Forever. And once everybody finds out, your social life will be completely destroyed. Because, yes, you know exactly how anybody would react to someone who had a sudden gender swap. Yes, you're not going to be able to do this forever. You'll have to go off the grid. You'll have to start learning to take care of yourself. And then you can take down the government with all their little... No, no, no. no. Hollywood, don't get any funny ideas. Don't do this to us. Oh, jeez, this, this looks even more cheap than the, all the others. Yale continues to be drawn pretty decently. A knock on the door. Oh, who could that possibly be? Winter? What is Winter doing here? No, seriously, what is Winter doing here? I was... Not paying attention when he, when Yale was talking to Winter, so I don't know what she's doing here. <sighs> Doesn't matter if you want to talk or not. People are still going to try talking to you. So don't shut her out. And nobody should shut anybody out from you. Wait, what was that supposed to mean? I hope you guys are getting a real kick out of my little fake tantrums. Well, it turns out, well, <sighs> you know, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. To see if you guys actually like if I like my little acting chops or not, I'll actually start talking as some of these characters. Not these two, but that's it. There you go, you guys. Starting in the, starting in the next storyline, I'm going to start doing that. And I hope you guys will enjoy that. In the meantime, though, let's finish up this bleak storyline. <sighs> you know, you know, I don't see why Hollywood wouldn't be able to do a storyline kind of like this. Uh, okay.
cares what other people think? Uh, I would care if somebody found out found out something like this about me. Uh, not that I would do something like that anyways. Voluntarily, if, at least. Why am I trying to set myself up for some sort of comment war in the comments? I have no idea. Wait a second. I just thought of something. Did I keep saying part 5 during this video? Because this is part 4, I do believe. You know, it really doesn't matter what part this is. Because technically, the jump cuts might as well be considered their own individual parts. Yeah, did you think about that, Yale? Hmm, Yale? Didn't you think about all the positives that have come out of this? I mean, seriously, please just think about it. Think about everything that's gone on during these past few days. Sure, there's been plenty of negatives, but think of the positives. You've got yourself a stellar girlfriend. And sure, while you're st now a girl too, why should it matter? As long as you two are happy, why should it? Why should you let what anybody else get to you? Yeah. Yeah, you'll be okay. You're amazing. Don't give a damn of what everybody else says. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's worse. How badly drawn this looks? The, the uh, tear in Yale's eye? Or the fact that the eyes are st and eyebrows are still over the hair? Performed a number of things that I didn't think I would ever experience. Oh yeah, don't just leave everybody hinted at. Don't hint to anybody. We all know what happened. Why do you still keep your identity a secret? When you know there's no going back. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. If this did happen to me, I wouldn't want to... Talk to my parents about this. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna dwell on that. This kind of crap isn't even close to happening in real life, right? Right? Can someone reassure me, please? 28 minutes. It looks like we are actually going to get done with this. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> oh. Very, very decent looking, Yale. You actually look comfortable. <sighs> You're not going to take it. In fact, no, 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 I am not doing this, I'm not doing this decision, I am not going to do this decision because I'm not that crazy and, oh god freaking damn it, and the bolding, was the bolding even necessary? You know what? To hell with it. I gotta keep it going. Even though this isn't exactly what I would... Wait a second. Just remembered something. I just remembered something. Hold on. Let me see if this is it. There we go. <laughs> Fuck you, you developers. Yeah, that would have added a little too much time to the gameplay. Oh, uh... You, sorry if I said the F word, because... 
There's probably going to be a few people who would be offended by that. Not that anybody would care. Because this is the... That's actually the best looking version of Yale I've seen this entire game. Why so accepting, Yale? Why so accepting of your new form? The end. And yes, there's four endings. Alright! Woo, we're done. So, thanks for watching Genderbender DNA Twister Extreme Yale storyline. If you guys get these videos enough views, I will continue. And if I do continue, I will definitely show up those acting chops I was d mentioning. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want more videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. See you next time.